How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all, hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on my channel. Also make sure to head over to Twitch. Follow me there at Douglas447. I stream there at least once a week whether it's Call of Duty Battlefield, Halo Destiny, or anything else you guys suggest for me to stream over there. And if you guys have any movies or TV shows you guys are interested in me watching or reviewing here on the channel, please let me know in the comments section down below and uh, recently I ended up finishing watching Stargate Atlantis all five seasons with um, some family members and I wanted to do a discussion video of why I think Stargate Atlantis season five finale doesn't work at all as the Stargate Atlantis's finale so what I mean by that is that the final episode of season five is unfortunately the last episode of this show and with that unfortunately it doesn't tie up the show it doesn't end the show in a good way at least with Stargate SG-1 we got some closure movies with Continuum and the Arc of Truth so we have closure on you know the Gould we have closure with the Replicators and with the Ori, but with Atlantis, there are tons of questions. <clears throat> There's tons of questions left completely unanswered. So I just recently finished watching all five seasons, and I have nine points that I want to make about the fact that the show doesn't have a conclusion. These are nine things that, unfortunately, needs to be resolved it needs to be tied up it needs to be concluded in a stargate show now these things also were kind of hinted at as to not being resolved either in the show stargate universe and we are getting another stargate series that's supposed to be coming out soon and the show writers for uh SU-1 Atlantis and Universe have flat out said that their goal is to tie up all the loose ends from all three past shows. So that is great to hear, but at the moment these things still remain unresolved. So first of all, Atlantis <clears throat> at the end of Season 5 remains on Earth near the Golden Gate Bridge in the middle, in the middle of a major boat travel zone. There is a military Navy quarantine, but that can only last for so long before people start asking questions and start poking around and looking into why is there this Navy quarantine all of a sudden? What are they hiding? What are they protecting? What are they guarding? It's going to arouse suspicion and people are going to start asking questions and start poking around inside of the quarantine zone. And if you've seen 2014's Godzilla, you know what that possibly could be become. Also with Atlantis on Earth there's tons of plots and characters that go unanswered and unfinished in the Pegasus galaxy. So first of all we have no closure as to how does the Wraith faction war end? Who is the victor? So we have no closure as to does Todd's faction win or is there a new faction with a new leader that wins? Do the Wraith factions just cease having this fight now that Atlantis is gone? We get no closure on that Wraith faction war going on at all. Next, is the Wraith, called Todd, alive or released? At the end of Season 5, he is a prisoner on Atlantis. And with Atlantis on Earth, you have to ask yourself, are they going to keep that type of threat level alive on Atlantis on Earth? Or are they going to be able to send him back to Pegasus to be with his Wraith brothers? We still have no closure of that. It is implied that Colonel Shepard ends up killing him, but we don't actually see it ourselves. It is an implication. So we don't get to see it. So unless we see it with our own two eyes, it did not happen. Next, does the virus to turn Wraith back to humans work by removing the vampire hand um, feeding mechanism? Does that work with 
removing it without any side effects. Because currently, you can take it out, that vampire hand feeding mechanism can be removed, but the wraith will end up having side effects of, like, slowly dying. Do we get the ability to finally make it where we can turn wraith into human and there's no side effects? Does Dr. Keller and everyone else finally figure that out? We have no closure on that as a major plot for the show. Next, number five. With Michael alive still, where is he? <laughs> because he's still alive. We, we clearly know he's alive in the show. Where is he? What has he been planning? What has he been doing to eliminate the Wraith and or the humans and Pegasus? Does he make an attempt to try to come to the Milky Way and attack Earth or any of its allies? We have no closure on Michael and his growing army. Number six. How powerful is the human coalition now to fight the Wraith forces? So there was an episode or two in season five where the human factions formed a military coalition to fight the Wraith forces because of Atlantis, whether they want to admit it or not, woke the Wraith up early. And because of that, that led to the Wraith faction war, and now there are more people dying and civilizations are being wiped out, so that led to the human coalition being formed. How powerful are they? How big are they? How many planets are involved? Do they have a massive enough army that could aid Atlantis in wiping out the Wraith once and for all if they can't get that uh, virus to turn Wraith into humans to work? So, we have no closure on the coalition forces. Number seven, what remains of the Jedi? What remains of the Jedi faction? Are they the new number one military faction within the human coalition? And are they the now new standing army within Pegasus without Atlantis being there? And is the Jedi finally good or are they evil with Atlantis gone? You know, have they returned to their evil ways of trying to just be the dominant force? Or are they actually a dominant force, but they're using all their technology and scientific knowledge to aid and fight the Wraith with other human factions? We have no closure as to what the Jedi are doing. <clears throat> Number eight. Will Atlantis be able to travel to planets given by the future version of McKay to acquire ZPMs and finally be able to power up Atlantis 100%. So if you remember, uh, Colonel Shepard went back, I'm sorry, Colonel Shepard went into the future a couple thousand years and he met up with a future version of Dr. McKay that was programmed inside of Atlantis's um, computer system. So he was able to talk to Dr. McKay as a hologram. Well, McKay from the future told Shepard of planet addresses that contained ZPMs. There are several planets that within the show, after that episode, they never ventured to to collect those ZPMs because of other things happening in the show. So it would be cool if they were able to go to those planets, acquire those ZPMs, power up Atlantis 100%, go back to Pegasus safely, and hopefully win the Wraith War and put an end to the Wraith and the Jedi and the Coalition and Michael once and for all. And that would be a really cool epic season six. Lastly, number nine, are there any more ancient research labs in Atlantis that have not been discovered? With season five ending, we still know for a fact that they haven't explored Atlantis 100%. It would be cool to know for a fact that Everyone on Atlantis has actually explored Atlantis 100%. Yes, it is a big city, but it needs to be explored 100% to make sure there's no more booby traps, there's no more ancient laboratories that haven't been under, uh, uh, no more ancient laboratories that haven't been discovered yet, no more secrets and maybe helpful things that could help the humans in the war. So those are the nine things that needs to be resolved and answered in a future Stargate 
show. And these are just my reasons as to why Stargate Atlantis' Seasons 5 finale doesn't work as the show's finale. Now, you guys are more than welcome to agree or disagree with me in the comments section. I would love to hear your guys' opinions if you do. And uh, that's going to do it for this discussion video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream.